Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 21st of 2023. Well, it is titled three sun paths. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the path of the sun as it would be taken from a specific location and over the course of a several, or sorry, I should say over several different times during the year. So the lowest of these was taken at the winter solstice, the middle one at the equinox, and the upper one at the summer solstice. And we note that the sun takes very different positions and follows very different paths at different times of the year. Now this is what gives us our seasons. And one common misconception is that seasons are caused by the Earth being closer to or farther from our sun. Now, while the Earth does have an elliptical orbit and there are times when we are closer to or farther away from our sun, it is not a large enough difference to change the seasons in the way that we're used to seeing. And in fact, we're closest to the sun in January, which is the near the winter solstice for the northern hemisphere. So it is winter in the northern hemisphere. We're actually closer to the sun. And in the summer, we are actually farthest away. So that really does not work in terms of causing the seasons. So what does cause the seasons? Well, there are two things we look at. One is how high the sun is in the sky. Here in the winter solstice, the sun is only 30 degrees above the horizon. So it's very low even at noon. These images would be the location of the sun at noon when it crosses our local meridian. And the first day of summer, it would be 77 degrees high and 90 degrees would be straight overhead. So that's what you would get in equatorial or, or tropical regions if you get up to 90 degrees or very close to that. So why does it get so warm in the summer? Well, the sun is very close to being overhead. So the closer it is, the higher it is in the sky and the more directly the sun's rays strike us here on Earth, warming things up. However, there's actually another thing that happens as well, and that is the path the sun takes. You notice that in the on the winter solstice, the sun takes a shorter path and sets it at a location of 240 degrees. So it's t passing south of west. Whereas on the summer solstice, it's north of west. And we can see the very different paths the sun has taken on those days, a much longer path in the on the summer solstice and a much shorter path on the winter solstice. Now what that does is means that the sun is up for a longer amount of time. And we know that during the summer, the sun will rise earlier and set later. In the winter, the sun rises later and sets earlier, giving us very short days and long nights in the winter and very long days and short nights in the summer. And the combination of those two things, how high our sun is in the sky and how long it sp spends in the sky is what causes the seasonal changes that we are used to. So that was our picture of the day for June 21st of 2023. It was titled Three Sun Paths. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.